Pita bread is one of those versatile flat breads. You could use them as a base to roll up some yummy fillings or use it as part of a salad. Let me show you how I make pita bread at home and you only need four ingredients. I'll show you how I bake them in a tabletop pizza oven and also in an oven on a cast iron pan. Let me show you how. Start the dough the day before you want to serve them. Put all of the starter ingredients in the bowl of a stand mixer. I prefer using fresh yeast, but if you don't have that, you can use dried instant yeast instead. Mix first with a paddle attachment till all the ingredients have formed a sticky dough. Then change to a dough hook and continue kneading on medium speed. Meanwhile, prepare a container and lightly brush it with olive oil. Test for gluten development in the dough. The gluten is developed when the dough stretches thin without breaking. Place the dough in a container and rest overnight in the fridge. The next morning, take the dough out of the fridge. Now, I should have put this in a bigger container. So make sure your container is big enough for the dough to double in size. Let the dough come to room temperature and then put everything back into the mixing bowl. Once the dough is at room temperature, Put the dough hook back on and run the mixer on medium speed while gradually adding the rest of the flour. Once all of the flour is incorporated, add the flaky salt. Once everything has come together, Scoop the dough out onto the kitchen bench and knead by hand for about five minutes. Cover the dough and let rest for half an hour. After half an hour, Knead the dough again. And then form into a tight ball and place in the mixing bowl again. Cover and leave to rise till it doubles in volume. If you are using a cast iron method, Place your cast iron on the middle rack and then turn your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 320 Fahrenheit, just before dividing the dough in the next step. When the dough has doubled in volume, flatten it out a bit and divide it into 12 pieces. Roll each piece into a tight ball. If you have a tabletop pizza oven, switch it on to high at this point. A tabletop pizza oven has a stone cooking surface and an element under it as well as inside the lid. If using the cast iron method, turn your oven up to the highest it can go. If it can go up to 250 degrees Celsius or 480 Fahrenheit, then go to that. Roll out each of the dough balls into a 15 centimeter or six inch round.
start baking from the first round that you rolled. With both methods, try working fast. Open the oven lid and place the dough on it and close it again. With my pizza oven, you can't see inside, so I don't know if it has puffed up, but it usually takes about three minutes. Quickly open it and flip it to the other side and cook for another two minutes. With the cast iron method, get your dough ready in one hand and then with the other, open the oven door and quickly toss the rolled out dough onto the cast iron. Here you can see it puffing up like a pillow. Continue baking till you're done. These are best used fresh, but you can store it in an airtight container in the fridge or you can also freeze it in a Ziploc bag. Use in any recipe calling for pita bread or as an alternative to sliced bread for your usual lunchtime sandwich. Check out this other video that would go really well with your homemade pita bread. Thanks for watching. Until next time, eat well.